Jeff White walked into the room of his best friend Towers, who was dressed from head to toe in his best suit and coat. Tonight, just for one night, I am living like a man with a million dollars. But you don't have a million dollars, Jeff said. Why would you want to spend on expensive food and clothes? Jeff asked. Because it makes me feel wonderful to sit with the richest people in America. Mrs. Black, the landlady, came into the room. You have money for expensive clothes, but you haven't paid for your room this month, Mr. Chandler? She bellowed. Towers quickly walked off. Good night, Mrs. Black. As Towers was walking down a street in New York, turning into a corner, a girl with plain-looking clothes and an old hat bumped into him. She fell on the floor and hurt her foot. Oh, can you walk? Towers asked. I've hurt my foot, but I'll be fine with a bit of rest, Marion said. Why don't you have dinner with me? By then, your food will be better, and you can walk home nicely, Towers suggested. Marion was hesitant. She was wearing cheap clothes, but Towers didn't care. They entered the restaurant. After dinner, while they were having coffee, Marion asked Towers, What do you do, Mr. Chandler? Towers told her a wild tale. I go horse riding, dancing, traveling. I love to have friends over for tea every evening. It's hard work itself doing nothing. Marion looked sad. Well, thank you for such a nice dinner. My food is better now, and I must be off. Towers stood up. Goodbye, Miss Marion. As she walked away, Towers was suddenly filled with regret that he had not told her the truth about who he was. Back home in Marion's bedroom, her sister, Sissy, was very glad she came back. She asked the servant girl, Mary, to inform their mother that Marion has returned. Everyone thought I was a shop girl. It was wonderful. I only went to the dressmaker to tell her to use blue instead of red on my dress. Mary's old hat and coat did the trick. But I fell and hurt my foot, so that's why I was late. Sissy, we're rich. One day we will have to marry. But father and mother would only want us to marry men who ride horses go dancing and traveling. I don't know if I can love a man like that. I would love a man who has something important to do, even if he is poor, Marion lamented. Sissy said, Marion was crazy. Perhaps, Sissy, but I don't think I can love a man that only rides horses and goes dancing even if he has blue eyes and is kind to poor girls who meet him on the street. Marion added wistfully.